questions here. Yeah. Uh, so where did you actually grow up? I know where you live now, but where did you actually grow up? I grew up uh, on Long Island, Connecticut, uh, Long Island, New York, um, Connecticut, and in Phoenix. So I was born in New York. I lived in Long Island for eight years. Then I moved to Connecticut. I lived there for four years, and then I moved to Phoenix. I, I lived there basically till my sophomore year of high school. Then I moved to Fairfax, Virginia. And then I consider that pretty much, I graduated high school there and that, that I would say that's where I was, grew up. And then I moved back to Phoenix the day after I graduated um, high school. So so you've bounced all the fuck around this nation. Yeah, I bounced around. Okay. And was that just something, was that uh, job driven or was there parents that were in the military? Yeah, or? my dad was um, <clears throat> on the business side of um, defense. So, you know, it's it's not like an army thing, but it is like an army thing. So... Um, you know, gotcha. So like a government, let me, let me try to, thing. yeah, he was, he worked for Paramount pictures and the entertainment business on the accounting side. And then, um, he got plucked by a defense contractor. And so the Connecticut thing was just to get us out of New York. So we had like a safer place to grow up. And then the Virginia thing like is Vir DC is the Holy grail of, uh, all that is evil. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was like his climb. His career climax was the the Virginia move. So uh, and I, you know, as soon as I graduated from high school, I got the fuck out of there, man. Um, mostly for music. All my music contact. I mean, I had a thing going in Virginia, a really good thing going musically, but. My heart was in on the West Coast with that kind of um, punk. I was in a punk rock band. And so I moved, I ended up back in Phoenix, like as soon as I could get there to do that kind of uh, music now, that I with, fell in love with, you know. With you bouncing around the country a lot, as you said, uh, what, did, what did you do to occupy your time? Like with, it didn't seem like you had a whole lot of time to get settled in any one place. So developing hobbies, it probably wasn't easy. Uh, I mean, I was always the new kid, so I would always look for the other new kids. Like, every school I went to had, like, a new kid orientation, so I would just, like, try to meet one or two kids, you know, like, that were also new. So we could sit there and, like, make fun of the, you know, like, oh, look how gay this new school is, you know, like, where we're from, blah, blah, blah. So, um, most of my time was spent looking for the other new kids. And, um, you know, like my parents had a big influence on me. So I was doing baseball, soccer, bat, like this, the, the standard American activities. Um, but the music was just something that was, you know, intrinsic to, to who I was, uh, based on, I was adopted. So 30 years later, i found out my biological father was a drummer. So it made perfect sense, at the, uh, you know, when I found out. But, you know, I was just, you know, I, I would look, find where I could fit in, man. I, that's always, that was always my little motto is just like, find someone who will accept me and then, you know, build from there. Now, it, it's crazy because I'm, I'm 36 years old now and I first got hip to you in general when I was 15 fucking years old by a, a site called fegolovers.net. They featured sure. a band that you were in at the time called Fall Guy. Uh, matter of fact, right. the song specifically was Kidnapped at Birth. Um, and it's just That's just one of the things I absolutely just stick out in my memory. And I was just curious as to what actually happened to that band. Um... It's just basically, I mean, 
God, I mean, you would have to know the backstory first, but to make a long story short, um, Fall Guy was a full band, five-piece band. The drummer and bass player quit when we were offered the Twisted Mirror Mirror Tour because they didn't want to go in that direction. Like they, they did a few shows with Twisted and it was it was a little too over the top for them. So we turned into a three-piece band. If you know Oh the Horror, they have a guitar, two guitar players and a singer. And a, all their other tracks are on, on a track. So that's, we like, I don't want to say we started that, but we were like the first band that I knew of that had two guitars and a vocalist with a backing track. And so long story short, uh, our lead guitar player is now Eric Church, band's lead guitar player. If you don't follow country music, <laughs> sorry, I'm balancing my phone on my headphone jack. But uh, if you don't follow country music, Eric Church is like one of the top dogs in country. So our guitar player was from Nashville originally when he moved to Arizona to go to college. So he went back and joined that band. And then my other guitar player is still one of my best friends in the world. But um, it just kind of lost. A lot of things happen. You can look up John Finberg, for example. He was our booking agent. And uh, there was a huge uh, article on uh, one of the metal websites about how um, corrupt and uh, sexual, sexually predatory he is. And so he was a he was our handler at the time. And when things fell apart, our uh, it was actually one of our roadies like just send him all sorts of death threats and stuff so that got us pretty quickly blacklisted i was able to somewhat stay out of that drama and just recreate myself as a solo artist and you know that's actually something we were wondering about what was the process of going from that full band you know sort of was it anything did, did it what were some of the sort of things that you had to shoulder becoming that solo artist versus being in the band um the transition can you hear me good yeah absolutely yeah you were breaking up for a second um the transition was i i knew it was coming i've been in so many bands that i knew bands have a shelf life to them for the most part so um you know i started the name intrinsic in fall guy and like basically into our first or second album i would stay at the studio later and work on solo tracks because I knew um, I was going to use the Fall Guy momentum to promote the intrinsic brand just because I, I always knew like the a band never lasts. It's just, I mean, of course, like the Rolling Stones and Metallica last, but like the average like garage band lasts two to three years, you know? Five at best. Yeah. So I knew, you know, I knew it was coming. I just didn't know how soon. So I was prepared. Um, the biggest thing was instead of splitting the costs four to five ways, I was paying for everything. And, um, bro, I would like, I had a full-time job and then I would like Thursday night, I would fly somewhere I would play a show Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'd fucking like sleep at the airport and just go to work on Monday mornings for like two years straight. So it definitely took its toll, man. Uh, I, I, I was probably in denial for a while that it didn't take its toll, but I'm starting to feel like the way my life is kind of headed, like everything I did is has taken a, a big toll uh, in one way or another. Well, I mean, those are the little lies we tell ourselves to to keep pushing forward. This wasn't that bad, you know. I, I could do it again, even though knowing in your head I would really rather never have that happen again. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it was just, like, so many factors motivating me to, like, prove people wrong and, like, you know, perhaps starved for attention or, or in need of 
ex, you know, praise or whatever for my talent. So, um, I would literally, I would just s sleep on an airplane, sleep on whoever's floor in a trailer fucking park. So I didn't have to pay for a hotel. Um, and, uh, show up to work, you know, throwing up in the toilet at five in the morning. So, you know, now I'm just trying to like re rebuild re and heal all those wounds. But now there's just another, <laughs> you know, another set of obstacles in, in, in different forms. You know what I'm saying?